All right, we're out at the hangar, so today's a pretty big day. We're gonna fly from Gwinnett County here at home over to Noonan, Georgia, CCO, and 318's going down for a major overhaul. So we were up in Chicago a few weeks ago. This was what, Labor Day? Yeah. On Labor Day and went to fly home, started the engine, not Didn't. good. Clear prop. Yeah, <laughs> started, but then it was like obviously running rough. It sounded like it was skipping a beat. Turns out that was a stuck valve in the number three cylinder. And I had just replaced the number two cylinder during annual uh, week before that. So basically, a lot of people have said that a major overhaul is kind of overreacting to this. The reason that I decided to do that is because the last time the plane got an overhaul was 1994. So Continental for an 0200 engine, which we have, recommends- 12 years. 12 years or 1800 flight hours, whichever comes first. We're at about 1300 hours, so that's pretty far before the t uh, 1800 hours but we're way after the 12 years. Honestly, and I'll get more into this when we're up flying, but look, at the end of the day, it's a personal decision. We fly this plane all the time. We fly it over water. We fly it up to Nantucket, down to the Bahamas. We have a lot more cool stuff coming up. I want it to be right. I want to know that it's right for the long haul. I don't want to top overhaul it and buy myself a couple years at most. I don't want to just ream the valves or switch out one cylinder. I want it to be right. Gwinnett Ground, Cessna 22318 at the North Sea Hangars VFR to the southeast, or excuse me, southwest with Alpha. 22318, Gwinnett Ground, runway 25, taxi, Tango Echo Yankee. 25, Tango Echo Yankee, Cessna 38. Gwinnett Tower, Cessna 22318, holding short 25, Yankee, ready to go. 22318, Gwinnett Tower, on course, southeast, runway 25, clear for takeoff. Here, we'll be southwest for uh, Cessna 318 now. 318, on course. On course, clear for takeoff, runway 25, Cessna 22318. Oh, yeah. How many years is it? It's 12 supposed to be, but it's been what, 27? Yeah. So there are people that will fly planes for, I mean, 50 years between overhauls. So really? yeah, I mean, a lot of people have so been it saying- it just kind of depends on your comfort level. Yeah, at the end of the day. I mean, and you know, there are signs you can look for like- Right, as long know. as you're paying attention, which is what you did when you bought it. You were like, I'm gonna, I know it's long, it's a long time between overhauls, but I'll just watch and like make sure. Yep. And then the second something goes wrong, then we'll address it. And then I'll the stuck, take that as an indication. The stuck valve was an indication, and I feel like that is something to keep in mind. So there's a lot of things you can do for a stuck valve, but. And to your point, like, yeah, I said I'd look for an indication. A stuck valve is really an indication that maybe a top overhaul. It's time for that. We have really no indication, which would be like finding metal filings and oil samples. Right, but they didn't actually look at the last one, so we don't really know. That's true, but I've done several oil samples since we've had right. the plane in the last 300 hours, and it's really creating no metal. Um, and what's more is you can actually look at what type of metal they're finding in the oil, so you can kind of get an indication if maybe it's coming from the crankshaft or something right. internal to the bottom of the engine as opposed to the top, which is the cylinders. So we're not getting that, which again is why some people said don't do it yet. But to your point and what we've talked about, more than anything, it's confidence in the plane. Trust trust and a lot of people said well when are you going to sell it because that's a big factor if you're not if you're going to sell it anytime soon do a nice top overhaul sell right. it in a year or two but we're not we're going to sell it we're going to keep this thing like pretty much in the family forever you know got to we fell in love yeah we did <laughs> Hey, 
Falcon traffic, Cessna 318, uh, just about over midfield at 2500, looking for that upwind traffic. We're just uh, transitioning through the area at 2500 southwestbound, Carter, or, uh, Falcon. And the Falcon traffic, uh, Skyhawk 442, Kilo Sierra, left hand turn on the crosswind. We're going to be departing the area to the south, Falcon field. All right, Roger, we're looking for you. I can't see anything. He's going that way? No, he's right here. He's like there, and he's about to turn crosswind to the south. Uh, he's 800 below us. Yeah, and climbing. So I'll probably make a right turn if I can't find him, which I don't think I'm going to be able to. It's just too hard to see at the sun. Can I have our flight? Falcon traffic, Skyhawk 442 Kilo Sierra on that crosswind leg. I got the uh, overflying traffic in sight. I mean, you know, should be no factor, uh, but we're at a 2,200 right now. Do you have us? We're about to 12 o'clock. Yeah, we're looking straight into the sun. I got you on the screen. Um, if you want to maybe hold your climb or I can deviate to the north a little bit. We're just going over to Noonan, so it looks like we should be okay. Uh, yeah, we'll level off. All right, cool, thanks. No, you're behind us, no factor. I'm going to continue on southbound and continue oh. to climb up to 3,500. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Michael Travis, back to the Tango, left downwind, one, Cartersville. Uh. Hi, Roger. Actually, I got you in sight now at Falcon. Thanks. Noon in traffic, Cessna 3 and 8, overflying midfield at 2,200, joining left traffic 3 3, full stop, Noonan. Right. Let's go ahead and pull it. And there's 85, let's just go ahead and introduce flaps. Help slow us down, because we're a little high still. Hold 85. Unit traffic, Cessna 3 and 8, left down with 3 3, full stop, Unit. Don't get distracted by me, and is it pretty out here? Unit traffic, Cessna 3 and 8, left base, 3 3, full stop, Unit. Wind is blowing. Oh yeah, big time. All right, let's go turn final. Tokyo drifting. Yeah. Noonan traffic, Cessna through an eight. Short final, three three, full stop, Noonan. Wow. I just feel like smooth easy. out, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Supposed to be gusting. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, making off a of five. Yes. Take it. Is it? Are they? Is it the one with the truck in it over there? I think so. Yeah. There it is.